Hello there, welcome to my views and news. Several viewers contacted me. They said, Sajid, how can Fano defend from drone strikes? Can Fano survive this onslaught of uh, uh, drone strikes uh, which has started now? Uh, so they, they asked uh, about my analysis, keeping in view what happened to TDF, what happened to Ola, what is happening to Ola. Can Fano defend from uh, the Don Stikes or not? There are five main points which I want to speak on when it regard when when you talk about defense from Don Stikes. We'll uh, have a look at these five points one by one. All these points are very crucial. Firstly, weapons. Does Fano have any weapons to defend from drone strikes? The simple answer is no. No Ethiopian armed group has any weapons which are effective against drones. Because the drones being used by the Ethiopian PM government are very modern drones. TB2s, wing longs fly at very high altitude. TDF had no weapons. TDF only had ZU-23-2 and man pads, which are not effective against drones. They can only hit low-flying objects. Ola has no anti-drone weapons too. In terms of weapons, anti-drone weapons, Pano is helpless. It has no weapons. Second point about defense from drone strikes is how drones operate. You cannot hit drones because drones are high in the air. You can hit the GCS, ground control station, from where drones are operating. In GCS, there are drone operators sitting who are operating the drones. If you manage to hit GCS, the connection between drone and GCS will be cut off and drone. Uh, it won't be possible to operate the drone. For that, you need to identify the places where GCS are stationed. According to my analysis, GCS are not stationed in the Amhara region. I might be wrong, but that is my understanding. Is GCS for TB2s, wing longs are not in Amhara. Keeping in view the precarious law and order security situation in the Amhara region. I don't think the open government would risk the deployment of GCS in the Amhara region. GCS are mainly in Oromia, Addis Ababa, Pegarai Afar. Manishangal Gumas uh, might be the place where drone GCS are deployed, but mainly Oromia, mainly Oromia. Fano fighters, can they reach GCS? No. Difficult. They can only reach the GCS if they sweep across the Mahara region and from there they can launch a big offensive towards Bishoft or towards Valaga, towards uh, Afar, Sambra, towards Tegarai, which is not possible at this point of time. So, uh, I don't see the possibility of Fano fighters uh, reaching and destroying or making. GCS uh, ineffective. It's not possible. And I don't think they have exact information about GCS too. Though they can use their cells in other regions to locate and target uh, GCS, but for that you need very uh, effective uh, network in other regions. Do Fano fighters have this type of network in Amhara, in other parts of Ethiopia, in Oromia, in Tigray, I'm not sure. I don't think so. Thirdly, visibility. Only defense, one of the few defense options available for Fano is decrease the visibility. Fano groups will have to decrease their visibility. How? Question is how. They, they can adopt different measures. 
of course they cannot stay indoors if they start if they stop moving uh, outdoors it means that their movement will collapse they will have to find novel ways of movement with decreased visibility and that is why i think we are hearing about don strikes on ambulances don strikes on health centers because these are ways of decreasing the visibility that those institutions are used as headquarters by armed groups uh, which are public institutions and uh, and it, it would be difficult for uh, government uh, to locate foreign fighters inside uh, hospitals or schools if government has no effective intelligence network so visibility can be decreased uh, in several ways i won't speak a lot on that because i am not an advisor to fano i'm only talking about the general picture the, i'm talking about the ways the methods adopted by armed groups across the world so third point is decrease the visibility by adopting novel creative methods by limiting the resistance movement to those areas where drones are less effective like uh, mountainous areas like forests where obviously drones are less effective but can fano fighters only uh, remain restricted to mountain forests no obviously they'll have to move out they have their bases there but they have to move out third point is visibility how to decrease visibility that remains to be seen fourth point is intelligence drones operate uh on the basis of intelligence which they receive it's not that uh, drones always identify targets on the ground and communicate message to drone operator and drone strikes are conducted no for effective drone strikes precise drone strikes there should be there should be intelligence available to forces based on the intelligence then uh, drones operate it means that uh, if drone strikes are on the rise in the amhara region it shows that ethiopian government has started receiving information about movement of fano fighters who is providing this information obviously people uh, we cannot say endf is providing the, this information people and uh, i think uh, yesterday some civilians were arrested not arrested they were captured by fano fighters they were accused of supplying intelligence to ethiopian military about movement of fano fighters so fano fighters will have to ensure that there are no government spies around them who are monitoring the movement of their convoys of the top commanders and passing it on to the air force endf etc fourth point is uh, intelligence collection fifth point is that uh, fano fighters can adopt other ways to minimize the damage that they will suffer in case of drone strikes we saw that when the tdf came under drone strikes it passed instructions to its members they should not move in large numbers they should not move in large convoys they should move in a single columns and uh, there should be distance between uh, those people who are on the move we saw such uh, tactics adopted by tdf members the same can be uh, adopted by fano fighters as well how to sum up how to 
how to summarize the whole uh, defense which Fano has against the drones. Well, uh, I think economic cost of this war is going to hurt Ethiopian government. When Tigray fighters came to Don Stikes, Tigray had less options. Why? Because Tigray was under a siege. Eritrean forces were moving in from the north too. Pano is not under siege by them. Pano is not under any pressure to achieve results in a few days or weeks. Pano can slow down its movement. Pano can try to exhaust military. It can try to exhaust uh, air force. It can uh, try to inflict economic loss on the government by prolonging this conflict. Don strikes cannot go on forever. You need to have expensive munitions for TV2 drones. This phase of the conflict in the Amhara region is very crucial because the Fano groups are being tested. Of course, they are losing their uh, fighters, though I have no information about any big ma major commander of Fano who has been killed in this in these no strikes so far. But I have very reliable information about uh, losses being suffered by Fano groups. This is the most crucial phase of the struggle. If somehow they manage to survive for a few months and they adopt to the new battlefield reality. They can frustrate the government. These coming months are crucial. And I am not in a position to speculate what is going to happen, but coming months are crucial, I think. Again, Tegarai was in a difficult position because it was not receiving any food aid, it was under siege. So, continuation of war was hurting Tegarai more than Ethiopian federal government. Pano is in a better position that it is not in a hurry. It can slow down the struggle, it can wait for the right time, to minim it can minimize its losses by adopting creative methods. I can talk about other uh, things too, but uh, we're trying to analyze the situation in Amhara neutrally. What are options available for Fano? Maybe in the next few days, I'll do a video about uh, the military. Which options does military have on its uh, side? Uh, which options military have available to uh, strike decisive blows to Fano fighters? That I'll speak in coming videos. I'll speak on that in coming videos. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.